Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. And uh, this is a pretty good week at the comic shop. I went there, I got about eight comics. And um, uh, honestly, probably five of them were legitimately good. Three of them were just cringe volcanoes. But it was the same store where I was first recommended this book. And I went there, and this store in Midtown Comics, it has a whole row, hundreds of comics out there. And this comic, I saw it from across the room. It was like first love. I was so happy. I was like, oh my gosh, there's a new uh, issue of Slam the Last, the next jam. Um, uh, I love this book so much. It's so bad. It's so bad in a very good natured way. Like the people who are doing this have no idea. It's awful. And they seem like nice people. Usually when I read something like, like uh, America by Gabby Rivera, you can tell she's a really bad person. <laughs> and then you go on her Twitter, and she's talking about how she gets terrified seeing white people, and she's like talking smack about uh, interracial relationships. You're like, oh, oh. But uh, these people are nice. Uh, they're nice people. This book is terrible, but the people make it are very nice. So I'm not even going to say their names. We're just going to step. So uh, one thing i got to say is this is not a character in the book. Um, there's... Uh, one character who I was going to say vaguely looks like this, but nope, it's a different hairstyle. It's a different hair coloring. It's different everything. It just, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Nothing matters. Um, so we start off and the main ish character plot twist, it's roller derby and this uh, woman's a lesbian. I know. I know. I sharded too when I heard this. Um, uh, but, uh, so this is a dream sequence and it is way too on the nose. So she's, uh, this is like the coach, the main coach, um, which seems like it's almost like borderline, some kind of like fetishy thing. Uh, so she's skating by herself and then she sees something and she's so shocked. It's the, okay. I have to reiterate that this is supposed to be an adult. Um, it's her crush. Yep, two of the ladies on a roller derby team are interested in being more than friends. I know, I know, this is a series of shocks. I know it just feels like you're having like eight heart attacks in a row. Whatever. Um, so yeah, she has to screech to a halt right between her legs. This is a little bit on the nose. So um, <laughs> this is this is the weird thing. So... Um, this art is really bad. I can't tell who this is. I think this one is supposed to be this one, which is taller. They keep switching uh, skin tones, and everyone has the same face. Um, I can't tell if she's supposed to be Hispanic or Latina. Uh, but anyway, she's with her Mima here. And this is the weirdest thing I can imagine ever saying to your grandma. Come on. Get up, lazy face. Whoa. Mom just let you into the apartment. <laughs> She's not a straight cat. She's your grandma. Um, so then we get this weird thing that we need to keep reminding you that she's in a wheelchair. How long have you been here? You cleaned. Only the low parts. What a coincidence. That was her plan, too. Um, I could sue your building. You go, grandma. You put your granddaughter's apartment out of business um then like she has to harp on being short please don't cause trouble you got clothes that need to go in the dryer tall person's job okay stop halt yes i know there's this top rod and washer dryers and yeah i kind of want one uh <laughs> in my next place obviously um but those are not for very poor people <laughs> that is for like uh rich people who live in uh Portland. Um, so anyway, we cut to uh, Super Cuck and his bitch girlfriend. I'm sorry. I know people say I'm cursing more, but this, that's the word for her. She's a bitch. Um, so he's packing, and uh, he's basically the only guy in there. He's completely effeminate, but he's vaguely ethic. I don't know what he is. Um, I hadn't realized how much my stuff had drifted over here. 
Uh, really? Shouldn't all your clothes be on the couch? Okay. I totally don't mind. I can't believe you'll be gone for three days. I know. It's the longer we've ever been apart. Um, so then he hugs her, and um, just like any boyfriend and girlfriend, they uh, can't their crotches away from each other when they're in bed together. Then we get this uh, bro do hug. It's like, whoa, bro, 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 bro. Let's keep those crotches a foot and a half away from each other. Um, so then she shuts, and th I'm not making this dialogue up. She goes, sniff, which I guess is supposed to be like she misses him. And she goes, naked alone time. Too many snacks and binging Project Runway time. Reading in the tub until everything is cold time. Sad but super soft PJs time. Can't fall asleep until I sniff his pillow time. Seriously. I want to be bragging, but I'm pretty straight. <laughs> I'm actually too straight. Uh, like half, more than half of my paycheck going to child support straight. I'm pretty sure two more issues will turn me straight up gay because it's just making me hate all women. <laughs> These women are awful and they're very unattractive. Um, so uh, then they're having this, okay, Saturday morning, pink and black rookie rumble scrimmage. Um, okay, stop. Boombox. Look, I know you're going for a certain market. This is trash art. Like, I'm sorry. This is god-awful. And I've actually been complimenting at least the faces on earlier issues, but this art take a huge dive. So here's what's funny. Time out. Two-minute time out. So she just said that. And people are... I, I, I had to look at this like four times until I understood what it was. The game has already been stopped, but she's calling time out. People are already off the track high-fiving. Um, so then the mean coach, which like I said, it feels like this is like a fetish character. Ooh, she's so mean. Oh, she's going to yell at me. Um, then we get uh, just some guy, trademark, forced uh, cursing. Where the crap is Kristen? Um, and then we get this freaking piece of work. She's always talking about her last league. So, uh, Bomber, you jam next. So then they go do a little scrimmage, and literally you ha you can't tell anything is happening. This girl seems to push back another girl, but you can't see what team is on. She seems happy about it. This girl bumps the other girl, but I don't know. And I don't even know what's happening here. And then apparently it's over. And all the... Lesbians are... This girl's like... What is she? I think she's just like some groupie. Um, then, uh... Grandma... <laughs> this is funny. Grandma is like... Really negative. She's like... Your team is a mess. They're not having any fun. They aren't seeing any results. Their best player isn't even showing up. Why should they? A team only has one side. It is the side. They already got a great coach. Now they need a great leader. Okay, so we're going to be injecting you with barium to see if there's any uh, polyps in your <laughs> small intestines. Uh, huh. Oh, there's one man. Okay. So this is where I am not talking. I am not kidding. This is where I was like, I, I just quit. I'm, do I'm done. I'm done. Uh, so uh, Super Cuck draws a uh, roller derby pr poster. Pretty nice thing. You don't you know he's not getting paid for this. What is this for? So he says he's going to give it to like their art department. And then she's all mopey and weird about it. She's like, "So is this your thing now? What? Derby, is this your thing?" He basically says, "Yeah, he's kind of into it." Um Maisie, I, I am at that track because of you. Well, that's... I didn't ask you to. Um, it's just I had nothing when I found Derby. It wasn't supposed to have a boyfriend in it. That was kind of the point. Heterosexuality is... Never the answer. Fine, you want me to stop going? No. Yes. No. I don't know. 
I feel weird. Yeah, because you're transforming from human woman to full-time bitch. <laughs> this is, this is, your body's transforming on a cellular level. You took this kind of wimpy, but generally very good guy who was showing interest in your hobby, who was doing work for free, and uh, you act like total... I'm not going to say because I don't want to get the habit of over cursing. So then she goes to the track where she can work out her feelings. And uh, she spins around and then... She, oh, this is awesome. She trips. She goes, not my shoulder. I so wanted it to be your shoulder. And then she landed on her ass. And then a random lesbian popped up to ask if she was okay. Oh, bruised ass. This is a fetish book, isn't it? I... I want to tell a little story about the time I went into a gay bookstore. So back in the 1990s, uh, I was in Austin, going to college, off and on. Very, very broke. My favorite thing was to go to the bookstore. They had a lot of good bookstores. And there was this one bookstore called, I believe it was called Wolf. Um, and uh, I went in, and uh, I saw a bunch of gay stuff on the front, uh, you know, the front row. I was like, oh, that's kind of, Weird. Usually, comic uh, or uh, bookstores, they just have like one little section of gay and lesbian stuff, and it's usually farther in the back. Not porn, but just like even at like Barnes and Noble, you would see stuff like that. And then I walked to the second row, and I saw more gay stuff. I was like, "Whoa, they got a pretty big gay section." And then I got to the third row, and I was like, "Oh, geez, I'm in a gay bookstore." Um, so I think I think I just finally finished. This is like a fetish book. Okay, so I'm sure people can tell me what creepy manga subgenre this belongs to. Um, so then she's uh, she starts talking about her boyfriend was trying to help, and she's like, uh, yeah, there was a problem with that sentence, boyfriend. Um, so then we get into the, this is creepy. Why is she drawn like she's 12? Uh, I'm going to read you this entire scene in its entirety because it's awful. Um, oh, wait. Is it two pages? Oh, no. It's like three. Do you want to talk about what's going on? Only if you mean between us. Impressive change of subject. Look, I like to compartmentalize. I am a human bento box. Um, when I'm at Derby, I'm all Derby. There's only now, no past. And this other stuff, it's not about Derby. And it's not about you. So don't worry about it. But as for you, I want to call you Jennifer. <laughs> what is that expression? What is that? Is she having a freaking stroke? This woman looks like she's reacting to like a, a friend. She's like, geez, my friend's 19 and she's having a stroke. This is so awesome. What do I do? Do I suffocate her to put her out of her misery i don't know i'm not ready for this okay so it's like um i was going to ask you to be captain and i am asking you to go on a date with me where i call you jennifer what okay so i can't tell i've never followed this the writer on social media i don't know if they're a lesbian or not i'm guessing they are why can't people like, the gay characters right now are so bad. I'm thinking about, like, Iceman from Iceman and America from America. This Asian, Latina boy, girl boy person. I totally stole that bit from Rickish. Um I don't know what she is. Um, uh, why do you keep saying my name like that? Because it's how I hear it in my head all the time. Jennifer, just say you'll be my captain. I will, if you go on a date with me. This is emotional black... Okay, I'm pretty sure you two are cousins. What? Okay, so then, um, this is the part where I was just... Yeah, so this is... Okay, so I, gotta, I can't show anymore. Um, Come on, ladies. Butts in the air on these bear crawls. You can do it. Yeah, this is definitely a fetish book. Okay, so um, I'm staying to help knock you out. I forget who that is. Okay, great. I just wanted to tell you. My poster, they loved it. It's going up tomorrow. That's great. Congratulations. Wow, really? And then watch. 
After she was a total biatch to him, because he drew a picture for free, I made some changes. Rookie Rumble. This is her story. So he makes the poster only about her, and she loves him. Just... Okay, well, I'm done with that. Okay, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the Super Chat and the Patreon. You're funding original content, and I'll have more videos up uh, maybe tonight? Definitely tomorrow. Thanks.